Utah classification or the International Ovarian Tumor Analysis Group ultrasound rules for ovarian masses are a simple set of ultrasound findings that classify ovarian masses into benign, malignant or inconclusive masses. The IOTA group has published the largest study to date investigating the use of ultrasound in differentiating benign and malignant ovarian masses. The IOTA group ultrasound rules to classify masses as benign with a B rule or malignant with the M rules. The features of B rules include unilocular cysts, presence of solid component where the largest solid component is less than 7 mm, the presence of acoustic shadowing, smooth multilocular tumor with the largest diameter of less than 100 mm and no blood flow. The features of M rule include irregular solid tumor, ascites, at least four papillary structures, irregular multilocular solid tumor with the largest diameter of more than 100 mm and very strong blood flow. Using data derived from IOTA group, 3851 simple ultrasound rules were developed to help classify masses as benign with a pre-B rule or malignant with the M rules. Using these rules, the reported sensitivity was 95%, specificity 91%, and positive likelihood ratio of 10.37, and the negative likelihood ratio of 0 0.06. Women with an ovarian mass with any of the M rule ultrasound findings should be referred to a gynecological oncological service. What is the best way to estimate the risk of malignancy? An estimation of the risk of malignancy is essential in assessment of ovarian mass. At present, the risk of malignancy index is most widely used model, but recent studies have shown a specific model of ultrasound parameters. The ultrasound rules derived from international IOTA group to have increased sensitivity and specificity. The simple rules have recently been externally validated in 1983 women from 19 ultrasound centers in eight countries. The estimation of the risk of malignancy has been assessed using 80 different models and those include simple models, intermediate models and the advanced models. What is the effect of the age on risk of malignancy? The risk of ovarian malignancy increases by threefold after the age of 50. Now here we can see the difference between cysts and follicles. If we have follicle diameter of more than or equal to 10 mm in the postmenopausal age, that it is uh, indicative of cyst. And in premenopausal women, if it is equal to or more than 30 mm, that would be cyst. The antral follicle diameter is 2 to 9 mm, and the graphene follicles are of equal to or more than 10 mm. Now, this algorithm shows the management of ovarian cyst in adolescence. In cases of referral and presentation for ovarian cyst, we find out a, is the patient asymptomatic or um, there is emergency. In case of asymptomatic cyst, we do transabdominal ultrasound. If it is a simple cyst of 3 to 5 mm, we do rescanning in 3 months for reassurance. If the cyst is of 5 to 7 cm, we check whether the patient is asymptomatic or symptomatic. If she is asymptomatic, we rescan in 3 months and check whether it resolves or not. If the patient is symptomatic or if after rescanning in 3 months we find out that uh, this is persistent, then we go for the tumor markers and MRI. If the simple cyst is more than 7 mm, we go for laparoscopic ovarian cystectomy or do rescanning in 3 months. If complex cyst is found, we check the tumor markers. If there is no suspicion of the cancer, then we go for laparoscopic cystectomy. But if there is suspicion of the cancer, the gynecology and oncology MDT is involved. On the other hand, if the patient comes with emergency acute abdominal pain, we go for imaging and laparoscopic surgery is done where possible in order to uh, save the life of the patient and um, uh, also we request the on-call gynecologist for input. Here we have algorithm for ovarian cyst management in premenopausal women from TOG article. This is ovarian cyst management algorithm from RCOG guideline. 
here is ovarian cyst management in pregnancy if you have any query in your mind write in the comment section subscribe on obstetrics and gynae and follow our facebook page